Hey, I'm Matia and you're watching Rewind. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm Matia and you're watching Rewind TV. You're watching Rewind TV and today we are joined by a star of Celebrity Big Brother. She was in the Sugar Babes and she's a solo singer in her own right. Welcome, Mucha. How are you doing? You alright? I'm okay, thanks. Good, good, good. Well, welcome out of the house, first of all. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be out of the house. Um, you know, just just being able to see everyone, some new faces, and oh, it's so nice. So how was your experience in Celebrity Big Brother? How did you find the whole experience? Um, to tell you the truth, it was it's nice because I've actually learned how to cope without my phones and to be without, you know, having people around me all the time that I'm so used to having. You know, I've gained some great friends out of it. Sure. Um, but I'd never do it again. <laughs> That's it, no more? No, no, so why no. why did you decide to do it in the first place? I did it reason being because I wanted the experience. Um, I would never normally even go away on holiday for more than a week without, you know, because I get so homesick. And even when I do go away, I've still got my phone. And so, you know, I knew it was going to be a hard, a hard task for myself. But um, I did it for 15 nights. Um, I proved myself that I can actually live without, you know, things that I most probably think I need in life. So, of course, everyone wants to know why you left and did you still get paid? Okay, the reasons why I left was because, um, again, it was purely experience I just wanted to have. And, um, you know, I got to the 15th night, and I, the night, sorry, 15th night, and I was like, okay, I could go and I could do seeing my daughter. Um, I could do being in a normal environment um, and not having to do funny tasks to try and win hot water. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of wanted to go home just to, you know, just to be normal again. And um, payment wise, um, yes, she did. Yes, I did. Um, okay, so you got paid. That's good. That's good. What were the things that surprised? Like, were hard to live with in terms of like not having hot water, mm. toilet, like what about toilet, all that sort of stuff. How did you cope with all that? Well, the toilet roll was always essential. All they always had toilet rolls, so that was fine. Um, the hot water, we had to do tasks to gain hot water. So um, you know, there were some nights where we gained like two tokens. And then someone would, they'd, you know, they'd be listening to our conversations and then they'll take away the two tokens. So, you know, we, we did things and it got taken away from us. And then, you know, and we, we had five nights where we had no, no hot water. So, um, which was quite, it was just a bit skanky. Yeah. I think when it got to about the fourth day of not having hot water, we were like, no, this is getting ridiculous now. But the house is just mad. What was, who was, who was the person in there that surprised you the most? Like when you sort of saw the list of who was going in and then you met them, who was the person that you, that you was most surprised by? Well, to tell you the truth, when I did see the list about who was going into the house, I wasn't too sure who was true and who wasn't. Right. Um, you know, there was, there's always going to be a lot of rubbish that people are going to talk about and whatever. But um, surprise, I mean, I was really grateful to meet Tina, just, to, just for the fact that I've, I love Shameless. Yeah. And um, I'm a big fan. So I'm, I'm plus, you know, we've become very, very close. And then um, Coolio, he's amazing as well. He's very funny. I think he, he still kind of stays in with the whole I'm um, young type thing. And it's quite, it's cute, but, you know, we all know he's 45, do you know what I mean? And he's moving on, but, he, but he's a really nice guy. Um, Ulrika, you know, I heard a lot of things about Ulrika before I went in there and from stories that I've heard about her as well. And she completely turned me the opposite way around. I kind of thought, oh my God, I can't believe anyone doesn't like this woman. So. What about um, uh, uh, Van Troyer? Van. Because you know, the thing with Van is that a lot of, he gets a lot of girls. Van yeah. Troyer, would yeah. you? No, not me personally. <laughs> Van's, right. um, Just checking. Van's, I, I kept looking at Van like he was a child. Yeah, I know he's 40. <laughs> but, um, I think it's because, you know, when I saw him struggling with things, I just kind of felt like just picking him up and, and helping him up on his on his scooter or you know and and he kept you know I watched him when he came out of the house he was like oh you know I have a house and it's not a mini house <laughs> it's a normal sized house and I have to do it for and you kind of realize well this man has been living for 40 years right. you know but it's only because he's smaller than my actual daughter <laughs> kind of had me a bit funny but as a person he's a, he's a nice person do you think you've managed to change people's perceptions of who Mitchell is i don't know i mean i was kind of hoping that you know people would look at me in a, in a different light um and not more as a bitch that i'm meant to be known as because i'm so not like that and it's quite funny because my friends always say to me why do people always think you're this way and you're just so you're completely opposite and they were just saying to me you know what the best thing to do is just go in there be yourself and you know, if people like you, they like you. But um, 
I don't know whether people have looked at me in a different way. I mean, I'd like to think that, you know, people have kind of given me that chance of not being so much as known as a, a bitch or sulky or, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I hope so. Well, I guess a lot to do with that was when you was, you should have been when you started out. Right. It was quite the image, wasn't it, that you just right. didn't say much and, you know, you weren't media trained. Yeah, so. I mean, to tell you the truth, I think, because I'm such a laid-back person in general, it's, um, it takes a lot for me to kind of come out of my shell anyway. Um, unless something's over the top funny, then, you know, then I'm kind of there. But I'm more the kind of watcher and more the kind of just sit-back person anyway. But, you know, I'm, I'm so not like the way people think I am.